Good morning. In this video, we'll study about the salsae and gyri, which are present in the suprolateral surface of the brain. So already we have discussed about the important salsae, salsae which are separating the lobes of the cerebral hemisphere. So just we'll brush up on that once more. So we have the central sulcus, which will be cutting the supromedial border and it will be traveling downwards and forwards and it extends just above the stem of the, just above the lateral sulcus the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. Okay. Next we have this one which is separating the temporal and the frontal and the parietal lobes. So this is the lateral sulcus. This is the lateral sulcus which is continuing as a posterior ramus, the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. Okay. Next we have seen this one, the parieto occipital sulcus which is most prominently seen in the medial aspect. We have already seen that. Next, we saw the preoccipital notch. So, uh, the part which is in front of the central sulcus is called the frontal lobe. Now, we will study what are the salsae and gyri which are present in the frontal lobe. So, this is the central sulcus. So, this is the frontal lobe. Now, in front of the central sulcus, we have one more sulcus which is running in the same direction as that of the central sulcus. But you can notice it is not cutting the supromedial border so, and it is lying parallel to that of the central sulcus in front. So this sulcus is called the precentral sulcus. So this sulcus is called the precentral sulcus. So in front of the precentral sulcus we have sulcus two sulcus which are running anterior to posterior direction in an anterior to posterior direction. So this is the first one which is running in an anterior to posterior direction. So this is called the superior frontal sulcus. This is called the superior frontal sulcus. Next inferior, inferiorly we have one more sulcus which is running in similar fashion which is from the anterior to posterior aspect. So this is called the inferior frontal sulcus. So now we have two sulcus which are running horizontally. That is the superior frontal sulcus and the inferior frontal sulcus. So between these sulci, we have some of the gyri. So we'll study those gyri. So this is the central sulcus. So this is the uh, gyri which is in front of the central sulcus. And the name of this gyri is the Precentral gyri. The name of this gyri is precentral gyri. Now, in front of the precentral gyri, what sulcus is this? Is the precentral sulcus. Now, in front of the precentral sulcus, we have three areas, three gyri in relation to these two sulcus. The superior and the inferior frontal sulcus is dividing this area into three parts. You can see the gyri which is present above that, above the superior frontal gyri is called, uh, superior frontal sulcus is called the superior frontal gyri. The gyri which is located between the superior frontal sulcus and the inferior frontal sulcus is called the middle frontal gyri. Middle frontal gyrus. Now, inferior to that, we have inferior to the inferior frontal sulcus, we have the inferior frontal gyrus. This inferior frontal gyrus can be, uh, will have three parts in relation to the two ramus which are coming from the lateral sulcus. First, we we'll see the stems of the lat uh, stem of the lateral sulcus. This is the stem of the lateral sulcus. From the stem of the lateral sulcus, we have three ramus which are arising, that is the anterior ramus, this is the anterior ramus, you can see this is the anterior ramus and another one is the ascending ramus, this is the ascending ramus and this one is the posterior ramus. The posterior ramus is a longer ramus. Okay, the posterior ramus will be ending in an upturn at the end. Okay, this is a turn which is formed at the end. Okay, now related to the anterior ramus and the ascending ramus, we have three regions. You can see this is one region, this is another region, this is a third region. Okay, so 
related to the anterior ramus the part which is related in front of the anterior ramus is called the pars orbitalis this area is called the pars orbitalis and the area which is lying adjacent to the between the anterior ramus and the ascending ramus the area which is lying between the anterior ramus and the ascending ramus is called the pars triangularis and the area which is lying posterior to that of the ascending ramus is called pars opercularis so this area is a pars opercularis so we have the pars orbitalis the pars triangularis and the pars opercularis all these parts are coming as a part of inferior frontal gyrus so that is about the salsae and gyrae which are present in the frontal region next we will see the salsae and gyrae which are present in the parietal region as you know the parietal region is extending from posterior to the central sulcus up to an imaginary line which is drawn between the parieto occipital sulcus and the preoccipital notch and the line joining the posterior end of the uh, just before the upturn of the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus we are drawing a imaginary line so this much will be the parietal lobe so in the parietal lobe the most important sulcus is this one which is just like the central sulcus but it is running posterior to the central sulcus in the same direction so this is called the post central sulcus this sulcus is called the post central sulcus now behind the post central sulcus we have a horizontally running sulcus okay that is called uh, from anterior to posterior direction so this is called the intraparietal sulcus so intraparietal sulcus okay these two are the most important sulcus which will be dividing the gyrus okay the gyrae which is related between the central sulcus and the post central sulcus is called the post central gyrus so this gyrus is called the post central gyrus behind the post central sulcus this intraparietal sulcus is dividing the parietal region into two parts this is a superior parietal lobule so this is a superior parietal lobule and this is the inferior parietal lobule this is the inferior parietal lobule so this is a superior parietal lobule and this is the inferior parietal lobule okay okay so that is about the parts of the parietal region the salsae and gyrae present the present there are three regions in relation to the inferior parietal three regions which are present in relation to the inferior parietal lobule which we will study after finishing the temporal lobe so first next we'll study about the temporal lobe if you see the temporal lobe already we know the temporal lobe is separated from the frontal and the parietal region by the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus below the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus we have two sul uh, two sulci which are running from antero posterior direction okay that is one is the superior temporal sulci superior temporal sulcus which will also be ending just like the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus just like that we have an upturn before it is ending it is turning upwards okay so that is a superior temporal sulcus below the superior temporal sulcus we have one more similar kind of sulcus that is the inferior temporal sulcus so this is a inferior temporal sulcus that is also ending as an upturn at the posterior aspect so related to these two sul sulci we have three gyri one is the superior temporal gyri which is situated between the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus and the superior temporal sulcus is a superior temporal gyri and the middle part is called the middle temporal gyri and the inferior to the inferior temporal sulcus is called the inferior temporal gyrus superior temporal gyrus middle temporal gyrus and the inferior temporal gyrus so that's about the salsae and gyrae which are present in the temporal aspect 
next we will see the three regions which are related to the inferior parietal lobule if you see the inferior parietal lobule so this is the inferior parietal lobule as you see this is the inferior parietal lobule which is below the below the intra parietal sulcus you can see this one okay. so here it is in, it is actually having three parts in relation to the three upturns which are coming from the temporal lobe the, the gyrus the sulci which are coming from the temporal lobe so this is the first one which is present at the end of the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus so this area in relation to the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus is called supramarginal gyrus this area is called the supramarginal gyrus so this is the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus it's upturn and this end ends in supramarginal gyrus next area in relation to the upturn of the superior temporal sulcus is called this area is called the angular gyrus this area is called the angular gyrus so this much is the angular gyrus next the area in relation the gyri which is in relation to the upturn of the inferior temporal sulcus is called the arcus temporo occipitalis so this area is called the arcus temporo occipitalis because the part of it is also lying in the occipital region if you see the imagine line it comes from here till here so a part of this last gyrus is located in the occipital region also so this area is called the arcus temporo occipitalis last we'll study about the sulci and gyri present in the occipital region superolateral aspect of the occipital region if you take the occipital region there are few uh, two important sulcus we can sulci we can see in the occipital region one is a semi lunar shaped sulcus sulcus can you see this one this is actually the semi lunar shaped sulcus not very clear this is okay so is a semi lunar shaped sulcus at the end that is called that is called the lunate sulcus so in front of the lunate sulcus we have a lateral occipital sulcus this is a lateral occipital sulcus Let's see this is a lateral occipital in front of the lunate sulcus so, uh, i'm sorry this is the lunate sulcus in front of the lunate sulcus we have the lateral occipital sulcus this is a lunate sulcus and this is a lateral occipital sulcus so above the lateral occipital sulcus the region is called the superior occipital gyrus and below the lateral occipital sulcus we have the inferior occipital gyrus so this is the inferior occipital gyrus and this is the superior occipital gyrus this is the lunate sulcus and this one is the lateral occipital sulcus okay that's all about the sulci and gyri of the supralateral surface of the brain thank you